some different types of feminine energy. Kind of clear this up. So those of you joining for the first time, hello, hello. I am Takia Hansley, your reality shifter. And I help women, high level entrepreneurs and beginners going towards high level. Give it up all of your limited beliefs and clear out those mental women so that you can achieve your biggest goals. So tonight, I just ran upstairs, y'all. I'm still trying to catch my breath. <laughs> but tonight we are talking about energetics. We're talking about goals. We're talking about the energetics of achieving goals, okay? So tonight, let's talk about um, getting your energy in alignment so that you can actually achieve the goals that you set out to achieve, okay? I'm going to give you a few main things that we're going to go over. Um, just make sure you're taking notes. Check your energy. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, pop them in the chat, either on Zoom or on Facebook, and we'll get to them, all right? So let's hop to it. Um, first things first, get some different types of feminine energy. Kind of clear this up. So this is what I want you to do in your notes. Make a quadrant. Uh, okay, make a cross. And in the upper left-hand quadrant, right queen. Okay, we're going to get a little bit into some feminine archetypes. An archetype is, how do I explain archetypes? It's an energy that, or an energy or concept that expands, not expands time, but it's the same regardless of when it is or where it is. All over the world, during any time period, it's the same construct. Okay, so like, um, like Disney, Disney movies, they always have a hero and a villain. Okay, most of the time there's a princess and somebody against the princess, right? Um, so these are different archetypes in stories. But when you're talking about energy, Specifically, right now, we're talking about feminine energy. I'm not going to touch on all the archetypes, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the archetypes as it relates to achieving your goals. Okay. So, queen energy. Think about what it means to be a queen, right? As you as you're talking about your goals and your intentions, how do you think a queen approaches an intention? The queen says, this is what's going to happen. It happens, period, the end. There's no doubt about whether she believes it's going to happen. There's no doubt about how long it's going to take. If the queen says off with their heads, heads roll, period. So when you're approaching your goals and intentions, approach them with queen energy. Know that I said it, it is what it is. Now below, oh wait, still with queen energy. Queens are typically... A queen can be the ruler, right? The queen is in charge. The queen takes responsibility. The queen sets the rules, sets the stage, right? So the opposite of queen energy, write this in the quadrant below queen, victim. So when you're approaching your goals or your intentions, are you coming from a space of a queen? It is what it is. I said what I said. I'm doing this thing. Or from a state of victimhood where it's, I wanted to do this or I want to do this, 
but this person's out to get me that person's out to get me this situation is gonna stop me from doing this um I don't make enough money to pursue it I don't have money to run ads I can't do this I can't do that because this other external thing is going to keep me from achieving my goals I want this now this is the goal I want I'm setting out to do this but there's some reason why I can't I really think about that like I said when you're journaling through and asking yourself all those questions about your intentions ask yourself what space are you coming from journal that's a great journal topic what areas of my life or what goals do I have where I'm not showing up as a queen when am I not showing up as a queen write about it write I'm still working on this goal because and if your because is anything other than because it just hasn't happened yet chances are you're coming from a space of victimhood so you want to clean that up right through it question yourself through it now on the flip side of this quadrant up on the right side beside queen there's the lover archetype Okay. The lover archetype is all about loving yourself and embracing who you are, being your authentic self and caring for you and your wants, your desires. It's all about you. Okay. That's the lover archetype. And in that space, this is where um, this is where you draw energy in. And again, of course, queen energy draws draws in more energy too because she's showing up in complete power. Okay, but the lover energy is showing up in I am important, right? I'm the center of attention. If I'm giving me attention and I'm embracing my ideas, I'm supporting my ideas, I'm showing up for me because I love me, other people feel that energy and support that energy. And they have no choice but to either get on with that energy, like attach to that energy and also love and support and show you attention to, or zag the other way because they're not in alignment with your energy, right? You you don't want people around you that aren't in alignment with your energy anyway. It's not part of your team. You don't need those people around you. So you, um, for example, when you're building something and you're creating something new or you're launching a new product or a new service. This is not the time to go see what the competition is doing. This is the time to go inside yourself. What do I want to do? What do I like about this, right? It's not about what... um, I need to make it like theirs. Because if you're drawing inspiration from somebody else, they're absorbing your energy because you're putting attention on what they're doing. It's not what you want to do. You want to pull all the intention inward so that more energy comes inward towards you, right? So how do you do that? What do you want to do? The perfect time to take a vacation, or this is going to sound crazy, and a lot of people are going to totally disagree with me, but you know I don't care, okay? 
but the perfect time to vacation or go do something for yourself is like in the middle of a lunch right smack in the middle of you doing something new or putting something out there that's the perfect time to go love on yourself to spend some time doing what you want to do because you want other people to do what you want to do you want to draw in other people's energy and in order to draw in external energy you have to already be magnetized to energy you have to already be pulling energy in and it starts with you first so pull energy into yourself and that will start pulling external factors in and you'll start absorbing other people's energy more people will start paying you attention because you pay yourself attention what does that mean how do i pay myself attention like when you have an idea do you honor your ideas if you don't honor your ideas other people won't honor your ideas they won't pay you any attention so are you loyal to yourself if you want other people to be loyal to you you have to be loyal to yourself right? Being loyal to yourself is honoring what you want, being there for yourself, supporting yourself. Some people will say, I'm going to do this, that, and the third, and then don't even show up for themselves. Like you halfway doing stuff. You're not putting your, your best foot forward. So you want to make sure that you're always showing, showing up in your queen energy. And as you're in your queen energy, you're pulling energy from all over as a lover of yourself now what's the opposite of the lover archetype so right below lover right prostitute you're either in lover energy or you're in prostitute energy prostitute energy is where you're doing what everybody else wants you to do. It's all about making other people happy. It's not about you doing what you feel is good for you. It's more about, well, they said I should do this. So I'm going to do it this way. You know, even though I really don't agree with that, I'm going to do it this way anyway. Really, why? Now you're giving, you're giving away your energy, just tossing it to the side. You're not honoring yourself, not honoring your thoughts. And easy ways to uh, stay out of prostitute energy, it's in the small things, guys. What do you want to eat? I don't know, whatever you want to eat. No, what do you want to eat? Where do you want to go today? Wherever you want to go. <laughs> Coming to America. Bark like a dog. <laughs> right or what, what kind of things do you like whatever you like no absolutely not what do you like i like this this and this perfect let's have this this and this where do you want to go i want to go to the beach well let's go to the beach so prostitute energy whatever you like or lover energy look this is what i like this is what it is i'm doing this for me it's all about me hey sandra so um which quadrant do you show up in when it comes to you setting your intentions or working towards your goals right are you showing every day? And check yourself every day, in the morning, in the afternoon, all throughout the day. Am I being a queen right now? Ooh, that was a real prostitute move. And watch, you'll start catching yourself. Somebody asks you a question and when you deflect or you defer to somebody else to respond, uh, where are we going for lunch today? Wherever you want to go, whatever you like. As soon as you say, you know, ooh, prostitute. Look at you showing up in prostitute energy. Don't shame yourself for it. Just correct it. You know, actually, this is where I want to go today. Right? Actually, this is what I want. 
you can switch from prostitute energy to lover energy or queen energy anytime you want. The important part is that you switch. Just because you find yourself in one energy or within one archetype doesn't mean you have to stay there. That's the whole point. Energy is fluid. So, hi, Miss Carla. Energy is fluid. So, you don't have to stay the same. Energy never sits still. Okay, never. Solid objects are made of energy, but guess what? Solid objects within solid objects the energy is moving fastest so i need you to be solid in your intention be solid in who you be right and again that energy is moving the fastest it's the strongest queen energy lover energy stay out of the victim stay out of the prostitute energy so just remember, it's all about me, my decisions, what I love, okay? That's the energy of achieving your goals. Queens, if I say head's gonna roll today, head's gonna roll. Lover, if I say this is what I want, this is what I want, and we're doing what I want. That's where we wanna be, okay? Because you know you're gonna achieve your goal. Which leads us right into the next, the final topic, which is holding the energy of your success. And we kind of touched on this a bit already. Holding that energy of success is that throughout the entire process, you already know, right? You're in that queen energy. You already know the intention that I set, it just is okay i'll be that person okay um it's not a space of i sure hope i make that six figures this year or i sure hope i make it to a million dollars hope ain't never fed nobody okay let's be clear it's not about what you hope. It's not about what you think. It's not even about, I believe this can happen. Because in belief, there's still room for doubt, right? Just because you believe something, it's not like ultimate truth. So, you have to approach your intention with, I know, right? Things I know, like I know this wall is gray. You're not gonna tell me it's blue, it's gray. I know it. So if you know who you be, you know what your intention is okay what it is being and you are being what it is there's no room for error there's no room for doubt there's no room for wobbly energy none of that because you're in that queen space where you don't even have to go through, what do you mean like what do you mean that wall's not gray right no this what it, this is what it is period okay so hold that energy yes it is what it is it is what a ti is hold that energy throughout the process the more you can hold that energy and be in that energy of it is what a ti is then it is, right? You're just creating the realm as it becomes, right? Because you have to be first. And if there's any wobble in your being, as your being is wobbling, the thing that 
you're, yeah, I know I do not like the word manifest, but work with me. If your being is wobbling, the thing that you're manifesting is crumbling. The more you wobble, the more it's crumbling. It's trying to build like things are moving. God is putting people in the right place and lining everything up. But if your knowing or your faith or whatever you want to call it, if that's wobbly, it's like, wait, do she, do she want it or does she not? Like, am I putting these people here? Is this the direction she's going in? Or am I, what, what's, what do you want, child? Right? I want chocolate. No, no, vanilla. No, can I get the swirl? No, strawberry. No. Set the intention. Know that once you place that order, it's, it's coming. Right? The universe is like Amazon, better than Amazon. Because sometimes Amazon delivery be a little off. But the universe is like your own personal Amazon. When you hit pay, you know it's coming, right? There's, there's no tape bags. You got like maybe five minutes on that Amazon tape bag. But once they charge your card, you got to wait till you get it, then send it back. That's, that's, how, that's how God works. You put the order in, no take backs, bro. Unless you're, if you get wobbly, it's like, well, I guess she didn't want it because you never completely placed the order. That's the only difference. You have to hold the button down. Hold the button down till it comes. I just made that analogy up, but doesn't it work? Hold the button down till your delivery arrives. They have to pack it. They have to ship it, all right? Hold the button down till your delivery arrives. That's you. <laughs> That's you holding your energy, okay? Now, there's going to be a space while you're sitting there holding the button down, there's going to be a time period where you might feel like it's not coming. Your job in that space is to keep holding the button down, okay? You're like, let's, you're gonna be like, oh God, I need this dress by five. And the window says it'll be delivered between 12 and five. So it is now 4.33. Where is my dress? You still know the dress coming, but you just standing, looking out the window, checking the clock, waiting for the dress. You know it's arriving. At 4.52, your brain, is gonna say, that was literally you this morning. <laughs> At 4.52, your brain is gonna say, oh my God, it's not coming. Your job is to keep your thumb on the button. Keep looking out the window. Hold the energy, hold the knowing that I placed this order. It's gonna be here by five o'clock because somebody's gonna, at 4.56, take their thumb off. When you take your thumb off, they're going to see it and be like, oh, they don't want it no more and drive right past your house. And now you're chasing down the truck. Okay, no, we're not doing that. We're going to stay in that energy. We're going to hold the button down and we are going to sit here and receive this thing that we ordered. I placed my order. It's going to be here by five o'clock. I'm not even going to sweat about it. I'm not going to sit here and peep out the window because I already know it's coming. I'm just peeping out the window because I want to meet the man at the door. I don't want him to toss it on the porch. See the difference? See the difference? So understand, once you set that intention, you are placing your order with God. 
once you place that order, he's watching you to see if you really want it as he's moving the pieces to bring together for you. Okay? Now be clear. I'm going off topic and we're over time. If y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, put it in the chat. But real quick, don't go out here setting intentions for other people's stuff. Okay? Because you remember that part where I said all things work together for your good? God is on your side. Everything in the universe, like life is happening for you, not to you. If you set an intention, God don't care. What else is going on? If you set that intention, God, I want that. And he started putting these pieces together. It's going to come together. Sometimes There's a book called The Game of Life and How to Play It. We read it over the summer, right? If you haven't read it yet, read it. It's a real quick read. Um, the Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scoville Sheen. There's a story in that book about this woman that wanted a house, this beautiful house that somebody else had. She wanted somebody else's house. And because she set the intention, God, I want that house. I don't want another, I want that house. God said, no problem, boo. I got you. Start moving pieces. It just so happened the owner of that house died or something, or their husband died or whatever. And what happened? Your girl got that house. Then she didn't want the house no more because tragedy was tied to the house. But you said you wanted this house. And I told you, boo, I got you. If you had, oh gosh. Another side note, if you haven't seen Marlon Wayans stand up, I don't typically watch his stand up, um, but his new stand up is called God Loves Me. And if you watch that, he goes, he talks about the whole Will Smith slapping um, Chris Rock incident. Like that's what the whole set is about. But he alludes to this exact concept. The whole reason Will Smith smacked um, Chris Rock is because God loves Sean Waynes. You got to watch the bit to understand what I'm saying. But he's looking at that whole situation and he's like, look at God. See how God got my back? Even though in real life, I'm sure he didn't have nothing to do with that. But that whole con God got my back. Nobody else has to see how God got my back, but he do. And it's one of those things where there was a time where Sean Wayne wanted to smack the crap out of Chris Rock, but he didn't. So but cut, but in his mind, I'm slapping. God was like, mm, boo, I got you. Putting the pieces together 20 years later. You know, God worked on his own time. But bam, Chris Rock got slapped. Okay, that one was a little, that example was a little off to the left. But if you watch the special, I promise you, it'll come full circle. But anyway, um, yeah, so hold on to that energy you have to hold that energy all the way through that that time period of maybe it's not gonna work okay that's why it's a breakthrough you break through this stage that's actually called the dark night of the soul that's where you're like this shit ain't gonna happen but you break through that. And when you go into that stage of it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. When you go through those thoughts, understanding that this is just part of the process, then it doesn't even hurt as bad. It's like 
When people do big things, like when they have these massive launches, you can ask around. They either get sick somewhere along the way or they hurt themselves. Something strange always happens that would make you say, oh, guys, I can't show up today or, oh, I don't want to, I'm not going to be able to make it through this or this is not going to work and their goal starts to get a little shaky for them but if they are going through this part norm you know what i'm going to be able to show up anyway because i know this is just part of the process i knew something strange was going to happen while i was trying to get this money or whatever you know it's part of the process just accept that part of the process and keep it moving because you know, once you get through this thing, what you intended has now manifested. And I use manifested literally, not frou-frouly, right? I made that up. <laughs> but like it has now materialized, okay? Better word. That thing, that intention that you set has now materialized but you knew it was materializing. You knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of you sticking it out and holding that energy. So that's it, guys. So have an amazing week on purpose, with purpose, and as always, be incredible.